Hey Simlies, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Gossip City Part 3. Yahoo! I've been enjoying this LP a lot. Uh, you guys know I love me some drama, I love affairs, and you know what? We've already got two happening because in the last part, oh my goodness, Serafina, Porsche's best friend, slept with her boyfriend after having way too many wines. Portia has no idea that her boyfriend and best friend did that and Serafina is feeling pretty guilty. Anyways, for this part, tonight there is an exciting festival in town. There is a romance festival and I think Portia has sensed and been worrying that Chase is losing interest in her. So she's going to doll herself up and look extremely gorgeous for the festival tonight and uh, then invite Chase along. I think it starts at 5.30. It's at Planet Honey Pop and it starts at 5 p.m. and goes until 1 a.m. And there we need to drink security. Is that like security? Like you have security in a relationship? Grab a cup of delicious security to put you in the perfect mood to mingle. The Romance Festival is all is the perfect place to seal the deal. We even have a wedding arch on site for that heat of the moment marriage. Wow. I don't think we're ready to get married yet. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I just, I just don't think we're ready. It's just not going to happen. Celebration of flowers. Celebrate the romance festival by scattering petals in the air. Fun for children and adults. Ask the romance guru. Ask the romance guru any and all of your burning love questions. But be warned, the guru can be brutally honest. Uh, I've also been reading your comments and feedback. And it was really interesting. I ran a poll on Twitter asking you guys if you preferred the new style of Let's Play that's a bit shorter with a lot of cuts and machinima in it. Or if you preferred traditional Let's Plays that we usually do. And it was 50-50, like split right down the middle. So for this Let's Play, I'm thinking that we make them a little bit longer add a little bit more gameplay in it, but still have fun with a little bit more editing just to change it up a bit. And if you guys like the more traditional Let's Plays, there's plenty out there. And also my Barbie Let's Play I'm continuing as well. I mean, it's it's gonna be pretty similar though. I was gonna give Portia a bit of a different hairdo for tonight, a new outfit, but Chase just said, hey, I was thinking about checking out the city today. Can I use your place to get ready? <gasps> Uh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it when Sims cooperate with your storyline. <laughs> oh my gosh, he feels so guilty. Maybe he's wanting to come over to break up with Portia. Maybe he feels that way, that he's like, oh, I just can't do that. Oh my God, he just, I, I guess he has a key. So he's like, yeah, cool. Uh, can I, oh, oh wow, that's awkward. Just going into the parents' room whilst they're sleeping. Revoke apartment key. I feel like he really wants to break up with her, but he probably feels bad because he knows she's been looking forward to tonight for ages. Uh, give the cold shoulder. Maybe we'll just do a sexy pose. She'd be like, so Chase, did you have fun the other night? Because they woohooed for the first time together and she wanted it to be really special until he went and woohooed with her best friend. Rude. Anyways, she'd be like, okay, I'm just going to get ready. Let's give her a bubble bath. Ah, Portia, she's such, she's such a classy lady. She loves treating herself like a princess and that's why she's having a rose petal soak and mud mask to get her in the mood for tonight. I mean, check out her view. Imagine living in this place and having that to look at. Oh my gosh. Although a lot of people would be able to see in. Oh well, no shame. I wish I had a bath, but I don't. It's one thing my apartment is missing. Oh well. Anyways, let's get her, uh, let's get her to change her appearance. I kind of like her hair like it is, but I want to give her more of a, <laughs> I, I want to give her a different formal outfit or party outfit. This is really cute, but I just don't, I just don't feel it for this event. So let's give her a second party outfit. Uh, that's just really not her style. It has to be something preppy and gorgeous. And romantic. I'm not feeling this one either. Oh, this dress is pretty cool. I actually really like this, but oh. it's a little bit... Oh, actually, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like it's quite her, though, even though I love it. Uh, no. Can we just... Let's just get rid of the stockings for now. No, 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 no. This is quite cute. Mm. Or a little... She could wear a pink little play suit. That's quite cute. Yeah, maybe we'll give her a pink play suit and some, like with hot pink wedges. Actually, you know what? With the black paneling up here, we could wear like a black necklace. And I 
think that'll be quite nice. Some diamonds. Give her some bling. This is a little bit more contemporary and less wealthy, but then again, I think she would have all the jewels. So maybe we will go with that over the top jewel necklace. Actually, maybe I'll put her in this dress. I know this is just from the base game and it's not like we're exploring new content, but this dress I haven't used for a while and it is so Porsche. Like it is so girly, so preppy, so hair. I think we should actually go with that one. And I'll release a Kaz video soon of these characters with links to all the CC content. Uh, so you guys can download that if you want to. But CC wise, I've really just started using some hairs. I'm not really wanting to go beyond that because I really like my game to be as neat and tidy as, as possible. Uh, yeah, oh, love this outfit on her, by the way. So cute, so cute. She's such a babe. Oh my gosh, Chase, he is such a man. Oh, such a skis, a man skis. You make me angry. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Seraphina's frustrated me. If Seraphina rocks up tonight, I swear to God. <sighs> swear to God. Meanwhile, upstairs, Porsche's parents are having a little bit of bonding time over here, playing a little bit of chess. Oh, that's so cute. And it looks like Porsche's mum is already dressed up and ready to go off to the festival, which is kind of exciting. Uh, her job, I haven't really explained to you guys. Uh, her career is that she is a spin doctor. She's in public relations oh job, level 10. Uh, so she, oh my gosh. That's exactly what she does. She spins <laughs> stories. She is, she represents public people in the public eye. Preston Westwood is a politician. He's a national leader, uh, level 10, which is pretty cool. And uh, he and Allegra Westwood, I mean, the Westwoods, they're well known. If it gets out and is leaked that he is number one, having an affair and number two, having an affair with a man, Chase's dad, things could get very, 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 very interesting and very, very messy. Very messy indeed. Uh, but I mean, it looks like he appreciates his wife, but maybe they've just lost the fire, you know? Maybe that fire and passion in their relationship isn't there anymore. Oh, but he still is a great dad and he loves his little girl. Let's uh, maybe say to her, uh, compliment her outfit. Be like, you look lovely today, honey buns. And uh, <laughs> maybe have a deep conversation with her. She's definitely daddy's little girl. They have a very good relationship and you know, he, this is why she's spoiled because he can't bear but to just give her everything. He just, he loves spoiling his little princess. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of weird that she's in a flirty mood when she's talking to her dad though. So I'm not really into that. Uh, oh, from being complimented on outfit, she's feeling fashionably recognized. Very nice. Now, Portia would probably spend several hours getting ready for an event. I feel like, I mean, it starts at five, doesn't it? So three hours is probably a good amount of time for her to start getting ready. So let's get her to go downstairs to her room, into her wardrobe, and let's go down here and get changed. And then we'll go to the festival. We'll probably bring her parents as well. And of course, Chase, and just hope that nothing gets awkward with Serafina there. Or the other thing is, Oh, hell no, girl. What are you thinking? No, 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 honey, no. Just, just no. Uh, where's, there we go. Let's get her into her proper outfit. Oh, don't tell me we forgot to change her shoes from the hot pink. Did I forget to change her shoes? What? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, we did change her shoes. Phew. Okay. All right. So if we go back upstairs, can you turn yeah. off that TV? Zaba. All right. And we're all going to head off. Oh my gosh, I love this festival. It's so pretty. Welcome to the Romance Festival. So cute. And there is a wedding arch here. So if anyone felt like a quick little sneaky marriage, you could totally go here. And I like how the music's actually on top of the arch. Uh, where is Portia? Portia, Portia, Portia. Sitting next to this random guy. I'm pretty sure she would like her boyfriend to be here. Let's send him a flirty text and invite him to hang out at the current lot. 
Uh, look, Vivian. I mean, Allegra, not Vivian. What? You look really <laughs> uncomfortable in between the purse. Like, girl, are you trying to pull dance? Because that, that's not what you're meant to be doing there. Uh, let's see. Let's get her and her hub to have a little bit of time together. What is... What? Honestly, the most bizarre outfits are walking around tonight. Oh, Chase is already here? Where is he? I can't see him anywhere. He's probably hiding from us because he feels guilty and he probably doesn't even know how to deal with the guilt factor. I don't know. Hopefully we'll run into him. But for now, anyways, uh, we can buy some swag. We can even get a festival t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Uh, maybe we should order some food because the pufferfish nigiri... Uh, I really want to learn the recipe for. And um, I'm pretty sure when you eat a new kind of food, do not hit on us, uh, Nobuya. We are not interested. Pretty sure once you eat the food, you can uh, learn the recipe. And what is this guy doing? Masato? Uh, everyone's just hitting on Porsche. The poor thing is probably like thinking, where is my boyfriend? He was meant to meet me here. Oh my god, Chase, what are you doing? Oh my god, she needs to up that chopstick skill. I'm pretty sure it's a skill now. Uh, or at least she can get better at it. Now this puffer fish? It looks delicious. It looks delicious. But uh, you can have uh, an ill effect if it's not made properly. A sim can actually die. Maybe because Chase isn't here, we could go over to the love guru and just be like... What is the future for me and my boyfriend? I feel like he's been avoiding me. I don't know why he's acting so weird. Uh, so let's ask Guru about the current relationship and just hope that she gives us a good answer, you know? You know? I feel really, really bad about poor Allegra. She's just, she's just stuck in a bit of a rut. <laughs> Her boobies are just too big. Too big. She's like, Miss... Ms. Love Guru, please tell me what's happening with my relationship. My boyfriend's been weird. I haven't heard from my best friend today. And I just feel like everyone around me is just, they're all changing. What can I do? I wonder what she's telling us. She's listening very carefully. A match made to last ages. Aw, thanks, Mrs. Guru. But for some reason, I really don't believe that. Well, whilst we wait for Chase, let's get some security because we're feeling pretty insecure. <laughs> Classic. Where the hell is Chase? Honestly. Wow, she looks so beautiful. <gasps> Obsessing over this dress. Seriously, Chase, where are you? All right, let's, uh, let's call Chase and see what's keeping him. I mean, what could he be doing, honestly? Oh my god, what? I'm sleeping? Call later? Chase is sleeping? Are you kidding me? He totally stood up poor Portia. I mean, look at her. She's done her hair, she looks beautiful, and he's just stood her up. Oh my gosh, I would be so angry. Let's just spend some money and buy a t-shirt because this is not okay. This is not okay. We are gonna have to leave. Thank you for purchasing our unique festival attire. Well, it's the only thing we can do because we got stood up. Ugh. So Chase isn't sleeping. He's playing games with his best friend, Buck. Okay, so he stood up his girlfriend. He's hanging out with his best friend. Nice one, Chase. I mean, at least he's not sleeping with Serafina instead of being there with Portia. I mean, that's all right, but still, it's pretty a pretty dicky thing to do. I would be upset if I was Portia. So maybe what we'll do is get him to have a little bit of a discussion with Buck. Sir, you look a little bit stressed, man. What 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 what's going on, Chase? I can tell you're not being yourself. I may have accidentally slept with Serafina after I slept with Portia. <laughs> Buck would be like, well, good job, mate. You're the man. You're the man. He'd be like, you know what, man? I know you rate it, but I feel like what I did was really bad, and I think I'm going to break it off with Portia. All right, well, if it's not working, I mean, break it off, but whatever you do, don't tell her that you cheated on her. Yeah. Well, 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 
back of the Barker's house, it looks like Declan is, he's got a little bit of a thing for Victoria. Maybe Victoria is his latest lady conquest. Uh, he is single, she is single, she's looking for money, he's looking for a wifey. So, you know, maybe these two would be a good couple. Uh, but they're probably more making this romance out of a business decision as opposed to an actual real attraction. So, hmm, that's going to be interesting. I think what we'll do is ask Victoria on a date. Oh, well, you don't really need to call her. She's like right inside. <laughs> is that him trying to be like young and hip? Alrighty, let's take Victoria Barker out on a date. Uh, let's go over here to this Asian restaurant that I downloaded from the gallery. Uh, I just searched restaurant and I found it. So I don't know who the creator is. I, I'll show you guys in one second. So Declan is taking Victoria Barker on a lovely date to this uh, Asian restaurant that I just downloaded off the gallery. I'll let you guys know uh, who it's by. Uh, it's by Steam Pipes. There you go. So that's a good one. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll take her out. We'll wine her and dine her. So let's go here together, I guess. Here we go. Get a nice meal. Uh, I want these guys to get married. I really do. How do we go inside? Do we just... Why can't I sim? Okay. Request a table. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, this this restaurant is fancy. I love it. Fancy. He probably chose... Oh my god, the flea market is in town! Click on any of the dynamic signs around town to find out more. What? Time Sunday, 10 a.m. until 6 p.m.? No way. Double festival! Keep an eye out for unique furniture. One Sims trash is another Sims treasure. Make sure to always haggle to get the best prices. Oh, we should switch to uh, to the Mitchell family to have a look at the flea market. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we can't do that right now. We just have to have our little date time. Oh, looks like she had a sneaky change into her fabulous pink attire. I'm so into hot pink right now. Love this outfit. So cool. Ah. All right, well, Declan's definitely going to order. Uh, let's just get them something nice. Declan would be like, Victoria, I think you're a magnificent woman and this pasta is delicious. But I feel like I've had my eye on you for a while and I would like to propose a business opportunity. Oh, well, thank you, Declan. That is, that is quite, quite the compliment. What is it that you have in mind? Well, Victoria, I think we should get married. I can take care of you, I can take care of your kids, and you can take care of me. Well, Declan, this is quite a shock. I'm very flattered. Uh, I might just have to think about that business proposal for a little while. It definitely sounds like something that we would both like. Well, I hope that you do accept my offer, Victoria. 